Hi, welcome back to another episode of Coin Product Show. Recently, we've been getting a lot of questions regarding the Japanese Western style knives. So in this episode, I would like to spend some time to go over the various styles that we carry here at Corin, as well as their uses. My name is Alex, and the first and most commonly used group is going to be the general purpose knives. Now the general purpose knife will come in two separate blade styles, the chef knife as well as the santoku. The main difference between these two styles of knives is that the chef knife will have a more curved blade, while as the santoku is going to have a straighter and wider blade. This wider blade width will allow more space between your knuckle and the cutting board. So the santoku will be designed more for chopping purposes, whereas the slim and curved shape of the chef knife is designed more for slicing purposes. So in other words, the chef knife is going to be a general purpose knife leaning more towards proteins, whereas the santoku is going to be a general purpose knife leaning more towards vegetables. The santoku knives are generally smaller in size, which is also very ideal for a lot of smaller kitchens as well as home use. While on the subject of vegetables, there is one style of knife that is designed specifically for vegetables, the nakiri. Like the santoku, the nakiri is going to have a wider blade, which allows more space between your knuckle and the cutting board. So again, this knife will be designing more for chopping purposes. The nakiri will not have this curved tip, making it less versatile. However, if you're just looking for a pure vegetable knife, the nakiri is a great choice to go. The next styles I would like to talk about is the slicers. The slicers will come in various sizes. However, its thin and slim profile will allow one to cut with less drag, leading to a cleaner cut as well as less stress on the ingredients. Its long shape will also help you complete this cut in one stroke. The next group of knives will be the utility knives. The most commonly used utility knife is going to be the petty. Now the petty can be thought of as a mini-sized chef knife. It is convenient to use on small ingredients such as potatoes, shallots, basil, fruits, and small, basically small items when using a chef knife might not be as convenient. The paring knife is an even smaller utility knife, designed mainly for peeling as far as carving purposes. Its small size and shape allows it to be a very good off-the-board knife. The tourneau knife is a specific type of paring knife. Its unique bird's beak shaped blade is designed specifically for tourneau cuts, which is a six-sided football shaped cut that is commonly used in many kitchens. The next group of knives will be the filleting and boning knives. First, we will have the western style devas. The western style devas are designed for breaking down and filleting the fish. And there are two types of western style devas available, the wa deba as well as the yo deba. And both of them will have a shape that closely resembles a chef knife. However, it is much, much thicker, as it is designed to take a little bit more rough use as compared to the chef knife. The honeski, on the other hand, is designed for poultry. The pointed shape will allow one to get in between bones and hard to reach areas, while the triangular shaped heel is designed for separating the joints. For larger proteins, we have the garatsuki. Its wider and thicker blade will allow it to handle bigger ingredients. The last knife in the boning family is going to be the honkotsu. This knife is originally designed for hanging meat. The straight shape of the blade is made to work around areas that is generally harder to debone. The pastry knife is a very interesting knife. This knife, unlike others, does not have a serrated edge, but instead have a very sharp edge similar to those on the slicer or the chef knife. Its long and slim profile allows for a cleaner cut without crushing the structure of your cake. The bread knives on the other hand are designed with a serrated edge to cut through the harder crust. Finally, we have the child's knife. This knife is designed based off the shape of a santoku. However, it does not have a pointed edge, allows for a safer handling. The child's knife still have an extremely sharp blade. So therefore, when your kids are handling this knife, adult supervision is still required. I hope this episode helped answer some of the questions you have concerning Japanese style Western knives. As usual, we have included links down below in the description that will take you to the products that we have discussed today. Please subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our episodes, and I'll see you next time.